What is up guys, TechRex here. So in this video, I got four unlocked iPhone 7s, matte black. All of these are near at a full charge. So we got 95%, we got this one at 98%, we got this one at 91%, and this one at 97%. Guys, I wanna find out, can all these phones survive in four different soda flavors? We're gonna put one in Coke, one in Sprite, one in Fanta, and one in Pepsi for a solid 24 hours. That's not 10 or 12, that's a solid day, guys. So this is gonna be very interesting. Does a different soda flavor react with the different phones? And cosmetically, guys, these phones are in perfect condition. I wanna show you guys one more time. Check it out, they are beautiful, they are brand new. And let's go ahead and do it. So I'm gonna place them one by one here. This one first. Turn it off because I don't want to kill the battery. Turn that one off. Turn that one off. And turn this one off. And at the moment, just to show you guys, it is actually 9.23. So tomorrow at around that time, that's when I'm going to check. And we're going to see what happens. So first of all, First one is we're gonna put some Coke. We're just gonna put enough so it completely covers the surface. Next is the Sprite. Looks delicious already. Third one is the Fanta. Ah, the Fanta I think looks the best. And again, roughly the same amount. Last but not least, the Pepsi. Okay guys, I think that's it. So look at all those air bubbles coming out of all these phones, especially the Coca-Cola, but now it's the Pepsi, the Sprite. All the flavors and the smell, the aroma is just so pleasant, guys. Let's pop all of these in the freezer, 24 hours, find out if they still work. We're back, guys, so it's 8.13 right now, 8.14 p.m. We're about an hour short of a full cycle. Again, to remind you guys, Coke, Sprite, Fanta, Pepsi. Can all these phones survive and do soda flavors impact the integrity, guys, of the iPhone 7? Let's go ahead and find out. And first up, we got the Coke. So let's go ahead and flip the phone upside down, just like that. We have a perfect block with the phone visible right in the center. So I'm gonna go ahead and just even it out here with this hammer. I wanna make sure it comes off very easily actually, wow, that's nice. So let's go ahead and take the phone and very cool to the touch, but it's showing me a solid 71% at the moment. Again, it feels like the back is colder, a lot colder than the front of the phone, but this phone is freezing. So software update, let's do later, remind me later. I'm seeing the occasional lag from the freezing, but the phone seems to be in exceptional condition, guys. Again, very cold. I definitely have to cool, uh, warm this up. Let's check the camera. See if that does not seem to be opening at all. So, is there liquid? Literally, the camera is just not opening. Okay, there we go. I think I was in the wrong setting. All in all, guys, the iPhone 7 that was in Coke seems to be working in great condition. Camera application pops open right away. I can navigate through the different features and options. Photo, taking pictures, video, smooth. So, and everything is crystal clear. Let's move on to the next soda flavor. We got the phone in Sprite. Let's flip it over. Probably just use my hand to take most of this and let's see the battery percentage 61% on this one so 
a lot more battery was killed in this phone again with the software update super cold guys phone is lagging as usual but it is in perfectly working condition and this phone is just so freezing but it feels good at the same time because it's very hot in this house let me go ahead and wipe off that lens i assume it's going to be pretty blurry right now but if i wipe the phone it should be looking good so right now it is a little blurry let's go ahead and clean off the phone and clean off this guy as well make sure to see if it's fully working and just like that everything is good with the sprite iphone the only thing i could say is sprite does kill your battery a little bit more so that's it let's move on to the fanta fanta's turn flipping it over this one looks really nice just in color very vibrant wow phone is just perfectly fit in there sleeping let's go ahead and break open the soda phone is super cold but it is showing me signs of life again 71 percent. i think that was exactly the same as the very first iphone 7 so let's go and just test out some features so again with the software it's giving me a little bit of i think this one is showing me the most lag out of out of all the phones so as you guys can see i can't even go with that this one definitely seems to be the coldest for some reason and I'm still trying to, I don't know if it's just too much of the of the liquid, but I am receiving a little bit of a delay here in response. Back to square one after just a little bit of wiping, guys, we are back to normal. Camera application, everything is crystal clear, and I don't see any air bubbles, no liquid or anything inside the phone, so that is some good news. Let's move on to the Pepsi. Now the delicious Pepsi. Flip that over and let's go ahead and take this phone out as it already turns on. 829, 77%. This one actually is showing me the highest battery percentage of all the phones. So if you're going to freeze your iPhone in any type of liquid, make sure it's Pepsi. But I'm going to go ahead and just check around. It's still very cold, but definitely very responsive already. I'm going to go ahead. There's a lot of water, so... If it's not allowing me to do certain tasks right now, that's probably the reason. Let's go ahead and wipe this off so I can actually try and move things around. Again, when very wet, it tends to not be responsive, so trying to just navigate across the different options here. Quite blurry, but that's because of the water. And let's go ahead and dry this thing off as well. Back at it again with the Pepsi, guys. Everything is responsive. Opening up the camera application, crystal clear. Checking out the back, no liquid. I don't see any bubbles of any kind. Pepsi, you've done a good job. The final test we're going to do, guys, is the audio test. I got the one in Coke to the left, the one in Sprite to the right. I've maxed the volume on both phones. We're going to play a ringtone here. So let's start off with the one in Coke. and the Sprite. So the one in Sprite actually sounds a little bit more dull and I'm gonna play it again guys, maybe you can tell here one more time. See it's a little bit different, there's a different audio projecting out of both of these phones. So this one is a little bit more dull, so shame on you Sprite, let's move on to the last two. So now we got the one that was in Fanta to the left and the one in Pepsi to the right. Let's go ahead and do this maxed out audio. First of all, the Fanta. That is by far the loudest sounding iPhone right here. So credit to you, Fanta. And now let's go with the Pepsi. That's very, very quiet. So that's similar to kind of that dull Sprite one. So... Fanta, you win in the audio world, not in the battery world. But that wraps it up, guys. Thanks for watching. Those are all the four iPhones here. And the good thing is they all survived. All of them are in fully working condition. So I'll show you guys one more time. We got the Coke. We got the Sprite. 
we got the Pepsi and the Fanta. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, stay tuned for more videos and peace out.